Thank you. New tonight, transportation officials are calling for alcohol detection systems to be installed in all cars, all new cars, especially those measures are being met with overwhelming support from families who have lost loved ones to drunk drivers. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell shares their grief and hope for action. Advocates are hoping for a solution to the problem of drunk and impaired driving, and some think new recently released recommendations may be the answer. That was the last picture. That was hours before she was killed. 38 years ago, Linda Unfried's sister Josie was hit and killed by a drunk driver. I miss her so much because I could call her for anything. I could call her. We were as close as twins were. Now some think a push for stronger safety measures in cars could be the solution. This measure is going to be life saving for so many, many people. The National Transportation Safety Board is calling for alcohol impairment detection systems to be included in all new cars. The recommended measures include requiring systems that would be capable of preventing or limiting a car to be operated if it detects a driver is impaired by alcohol. This year, across all counties, Florida crash data shows there were more than 3,300 impaired driving crashes involving alcohol only. Last year we did about 675 DUI arrests just in the city. Sergeant Michael Shade with St. Pete PD tells me it's something they see every day. Don't over underestimate what you're doing. That it, it, It's a significant issue. It happens fast. You don't realize it sneaks up on you and you, you might think you feel okay, but you're really not. Unfreed thinks if this technology was available 38 years ago, it might have made a difference in her sister's case. Until changes come, she'll keep pushing for action. It's a passion, and I will never stop fighting to save lives. In St. Pete, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.